All right, what is up, guys? Um, any of you who were following uh, us playing Game of Thrones, um, let me just say it was Mrs. Spaz playing this, and that was five or six months ago. I'm trying to pick up where she left off. I have no idea what was going on there, but. You know, we'll try to do uh, some type of Game of thrones -y type decisions. Alright, let me get this tweet off. Alright guys, so, um, <clears throat> I guess we're just going to jump into this. I'm going to grab a drink while it's loading. Right, we are going to begin episode 3 from the beginning. With a little bit of luck, I'll remember. Previously on Game of Thrones. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Father. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Roderick? Roderick, by the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester, hurry! Fetch the maester! <laughs> Let her go! Fuck <laughs> you! You kill me. And the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. She's been gone a while. She'll come back. If they catch her, they'll kill her. They won't catch her. She's costing us time. It's just that we need to get to Marine. Every day we lose here is a day that Talia or Ryan could be hurt, or, or, or worse. You must return home safely, Asher, and well, you have a history of putting your faith in women who may not deserve it. Was it then? However, the Lost Legion. Aye. Too many for us to take. I counted about two dozen, maybe more, as well as horses. About half a mile down the canyon, and coming fast. Had to run my ass off to avoid getting caught. <laughs> it's nearly empty. You two care if I finish it off? It might be a while before we find more water. <sighs> Dying though. We're better off saving this for later. Well, I hope we enjoy it. Right. 
We need to get moving. <sighs> the Lost Legion. We're a hundred miles from Yunkai. Alright, so for those of you who aren't used to my normal rants about Telltale games, it's already happened. Um, first decision in that I made. Um, <coughs> you, you know, you pick one thing, meaning it's come out one way, and it, it just comes out a totally different way than what you intended. When are they going to give up? Never. There's still raw about Tazal. Yes, well, perhaps you shouldn't have snapped his neck. There is such a thing as overdoing. Not that I care about us all. Let me remind you, it was him who tried to kill us. I just returned the favor. Oh, don't doubt it. You always did have a gift for that sort of thing. It's only a matter of time before they overtake us. Ah, bugger a harpy. Can we double back? Not without meeting our mates from Yunkai. We're well and truly fucked this time, Asha. During severe winters, when the Skahazadan floods, it carves out great underground rivers in the sandstone. And? And when those waters recede, those rivers become caves. And those caves might hide us, if we can find them. I mean, we're trapped for the moment, but all I'm saying is we, we needn't die here. Just standing our ground. Let's spread out and look for cover. If he's right about this, I may actually stab him. You found anything? Not yet. What's on your mind? How do you know all that? About the floods and the caves? I read all about Essos on the voyage over. Histories of Marine, histories of Slaver's Bay. I just hope it pays off. <clears throat> you see, Beska came back. She risked her life out there, for us. You trust her now? This may sound harsh, but Beska's immaterial. I have to put you first. You are all that matters to me, Hasha. Beska matters to me. We all need to pull together if we're going to get out of this and onto Marine. I can't have you and Beska scrapping. So much riding on this. Talia, Ryan, your mother. You and I are supposed to return to Westeros with a cell sword army, and I haven't the faintest idea how we're going to pull it off. So, if I seem a bit moody, that's why. Let me know if you find anything. You didn't have the whole boat voyage over to ruminate about that. Do you think we could dig our way through? Or try to scramble over? I don't know. Either will be slow and tricky. One wrong move and the whole thing could collapse on us. It's not gonna happen. It's too unstable. Oh, that's the only thing on the screen that I could click on. <clears throat> hey, Beska. I meant to say, thank you. I realize this isn't your fight. And Marine is the last place you'd want to go. God, Sasha. Don't go soft on me. Together till we're dead. Look, Malcolm's all right, I promise. If he practically raised me. You know my father and I didn't get along. Well, he's an odd one. And he doesn't appear to like me much. He has a lot of things on his mind. The right things, I hope. You know anything else about these bastards hunting us? Well, obviously they hate you. Thanks, I figured that out on my own. You've heard the rumor, right? 
They carve their faces up as an initiation. Flay the skin right off. Looks like they're inside out. That's why they wear those helmets. <laughs> no. That's a load of horse shit. Mesker, if you see anything. Well, we can't stay here, waiting. Looks like we're not alone. No obvious wounds. Maybe he died of thirst. Listen. That's water. I hear water. From underground? <laughs> there might be a cave nearby. Look at this. Gold. Fat lot of good it did him. Look, is that a cave? What in seven hells did you two do to rile these bastards so badly anyway? Well, back when Asher and I first started running together in Volantis, we had a disagreement with the Lost Legion's commander, and it didn't end well. You killed him? I cut his balls off. Of course you did. I think I see a light in there. A way through. Oh, we couldn't be that lucky. Oh, shit. It's them. Ponte Freedom! Que si Rizzi! Shit! Come on! Go, go, go! Right behind us! This Damn it! Asha! Find us another way out of here! Got it! Hold the bottleneck this size. What in seven hells is that smell? I can't even guess what this used to be. There's a light! Go! See if there's a way through! We'll hold them off! Yeah, just, you know, hang out, chill. Your friends are just barely holding them off for you. Uh, Eska! I'll come!
That is opening. Okay, so uh, I have to leave this screen right here. Don't go anywhere, guys. Um, I just have to stay off of this uh, entrance music right here because of copyright claim issues. Um, even though, you know, very very big dollars were paid to license all this to the game developers um, the people uh, who own the music still decide that they didn't sell their copyright um, to Telltale and that they still own it and that uh, this game playing that song is infringing on their copyright so um it's a big fuck you to all the customers for sure um <sighs> honestly if i wasn't the little man i could make a big deal about it i'd love to be a lawyer just ripping them down but i'm nobody But, essentially, they sold the rights to their music, and then now they're claiming a right of copy on it. Well, they don't have a right of copy. They, they licensed it away. There's got to be a way to skip this garbage. Come on, I... D just any of these buttons do anything. Come on. Come on. Okay, I guess we're gonna just watch this screen for a few more minutes while this very, very pathetic excuse for music plays. Um, it's just the same thing over and over and over. And you look at it as sheet music. You could teach a five year old to play it. This isn't some great, big, epic music. <clears throat> it is, however, stupid that we can't skip it. I mean, come on. WTF, you know? <clears throat> oh, for God's sake, we're not done with this crap yet. And this is seriously one of the reasons we just got rid of this off of the system completely. I was so furious about this. Um, and it's, it's one thing for uh, games to 
or for YouTube's algorithm to pick stuff up automatically, but then it's another thing um, when you dispute it for them to deny it and say that they still have their copyright when they absolutely don't. <clears throat> I can tell you in all sincerity that low level, not very well trained middle school students play this music every year like it's nothing. And that's because it is nothing. Um, it, it is some of the simplest music nothing to it it's just trash <clears throat> okay I think that means this crap is almost done How fucking long was that bullshit garbage music? It's a video game. I'm trying to play a video game. You understand that, right? You understand I'm trying to play a video game. I don't need 20 minutes of opening credits that I can't skip. Listen Ooh, up, you I already gave lock. this thing a one-star rating a long, long time ago. We're handing so. out assignments today. I guess we're at the wall now. Got it. <laughs> we'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Oh, right. Sorry. No hard feelings oh. over that business with Finn, yeah? I appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. It's nice to know there's at least one brother I can trust. Finn might have killed me otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I won't put you on the spot like that again. Well, aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrett? Men like you turn traitor for nothing. It's in your blood. <laughs> Next, you'll be killing men of the watch for a loaf of bread. I didn't take anything from you. No. But you protected the bastard who did. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. You're just a fucking craven. Oh, would you let it go? I've had enough of your shit, Finn. Fuck off, Garrett. Finn, leave See? him alone. It wasn't Garrett's. Oh, oh my god, this is what I'm talking about. You see an option at the bottom of the screen. It's like, hey, come on, let's let it go. De escalate. And instead, it's like, fuck you, drop it. That's not what I meant when I clicked that. And this is, this, it's, uh, extremely typical of Telltale games. It's, it's just, it's built in every Telltale game I've ever played. If you're gonna hate someone, hate <clears throat> me. With pleasure. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Or maybe you'll save his. Or not. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Lobo to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. Cotter to the builders. And finally, 
Garrett to the Rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. Well, there we are. <laughs> I'll be patching up the wall, and you'll be defending it. Should you northern boys want your gods yeah, to give a the... blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Okay, so his job is to fix a wall that hasn't been touched in thousands of years. Now form up and follow my lead. Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know Is you that wanted this. Sand? I'm ready to say my vows. <clears throat> I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon see me bloodied me. in the yard than offer a hand. Now. I'd die for either of them. Oh, Our brothers again and again. are all we have. So I think this game came out way before that. Finn. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. You don't have any balls between your legs. Like it or not, we're brothers now. Means we're gonna have to get along. Don't count on it. You wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. I'd keep an eye out for you if you weren't such an ass about everything. You don't give a shit about me. Why no one I? around here gives a shit about me. They wouldn't even care if I... Do you know how many rangers are never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. All alone out here. Mm. Wildlings everywhere. It's funny, I was thinking the or same wolves. thing. Wolves. Oh god. Giant wolves. Don't think I'll be crying over your corpse if something happens. So that's how it's going to be, huh? Have it your way, Garrett. Damn it, that is not the one I meant to hit. <laughs> it's a shame you couldn't work things out with him here of all places. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. God damn it, I really wanted to make friends with that guy. We're here. After this, the jump back to the last checkpoint because I had my face in my damn phone when that happened uh, you guys with me here yeah um, I was actually checking to see when this came out um, December 2nd 2014 is when they released uh, the season pass for Game of Thrones Hey, this is exactly where I wanted to be. Coolio. <clears throat> Maybe this time I'll be looking at the TV. Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon as see me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now, I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Finn. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. 
I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. You don't have any balls between your legs. Like it or not, we're brothers now. Means we're gonna have to get along. Don't count on it. You wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. I'd keep an eye out for you if you weren't such an ass about everything. You don't give a shit about me. No one around here gives a shit about me. They wouldn't even care if I... Do you know how many rangers are never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. All alone out here. Wildlings everywhere. Or wolves. It's alright to be afraid. Keeps you alert, keeps you from being too confident. Like the next time we fight. I'll remember that fist of yours rattling my skull and I'll think twice. I suppose you're right. You want a different assignment? Because I hear they need someone to clean the shit house. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I got so fucking mad at you, Garrett. You're the closest thing I have to a friend. That went a little bit. that well, Garrett. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they say the old Reverse gods save. watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. Hear my words, and bear witness to my vow. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. It shall not end until my death. I shall take no wife. Hold no lands. I shall take no wife. Father, no children. Hold no lands. Father, no children. I shall wear no crowns, and win no glory. I shall live. I shall die live and post. die at my post. I am the I sword, am the in, the sword in the darkness. I am I the am watcher the watch on the walls. I am the shield that I guards the, the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the night's watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Come, father. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. <clears throat> I understand it's customer to stab you. Men of the watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. No, you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Don't forget the practice shorts. Uncle Duncan! Garrett, it's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I never expected to see you here. Did something happen? A business with the Night's Watch. 
A delivery of ironwood shields, to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it, then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I wasn't there when it happened. Small mercy, I suppose. Not having to see our lord struck down with such barbarity. But House Forrester is nothing, if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. Please tell me there's a plan. But we can't let them get away with this. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? It hurts. Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. It was a secret he only wanted you to hear. He told you the North Grove must never be lost. Do you know something? <clears throat> I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. A vital secret he protected at all costs. What do you think, Uncle? Is it real? I have no doubt. It's clear Lord Forrester spent a great deal of time studying the North Grove. He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself. Somewhere on the other side of the wall. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. As do I. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind, and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. Where? I know that. But there's no other choice. Isn't there some other way? Where I don't have to break my vows? If there was, I wouldn't ask this of you. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why, I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. I used to be frightened of where we trees. But before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear them whispering sometimes. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. Hmm. Yeah, I doubt that. A mammoth. <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. This can't be real, Uncle. Look. There's a clasp. It must open. You didn't know that and you found it for how long? I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map.
perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Doesn't look right. Maybe try another. That looks pretty close. That looks right. Oh, it's the whole map that has to turn. The werewood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. Well, I'll try, Uncle. It's no small task. I'm still just a squire. I know what I'm asking of you. But I know you're up to the challenge. God's watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrid! I don't know. They're probably like little... little shards or something. Quite so, like a weapon. Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, mine's mostly ale. And if it froze on the way down the wall, it probably you'll break up into little icy bits. Be moving pretty fast too, wouldn't it? I suppose. Wait, so you're saying I could kill a mammoth with my piss? Oh, you really are as stupid as they say, aren't you, Finn? Oh, fuck you, Cotter. Carrot, let's go! I had to listen to that. I hope to never lift one of those again. There's nothing else you can do except them. Um I guess we should welcome back Carter. Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He's Castellan to House Forester. They sell ironwood to the builders. So, you were just talking about lumber all that time? It looked like it gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. I'm sure it will be a wedding for the ages, Sarah. I've been meaning to say, 
What I told you about my family, it means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. <laughs> And you know I'll always help you too. Hold but on, you look. Won't even make a tale about there he is. Handmaidens. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. What are you doing here? I know I shouldn't be here, but we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you all right? I I'm fine. Thank the you. cold boy. I just need to warn name. you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Shh. They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. It's not safe. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? You're wearing a wire. If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. What if they find his knife? I threw it away, and there was blood on it. Oh, oh, no. You do not want to get caught looking for it. Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. You're it's, a cold boy. It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. And they have and DNA sequence. Mira! <laughs> My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well. First of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamir? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me... Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl... I... You should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace. And we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden your here at the Iron Throne whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. 
The king's guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that, you and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. I... I haven't done anything wrong, my lady. That's not how it seemed. Queen Cersei made it seem like much more than that. Really? Sarah, what do you know of this? Mira would oh, never yeah. go against your wishes, my lady. <clears throat> Queen Cersei is a reliable source. What we am I to that. think, Mira? I've only ever tried to help you. Why like you don't are know you making you are. trouble for me? The Queen was just trying to upset you. There's nothing to tell. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. So what are you supposed to do when the nobleman this addresses can't happen you? Again. What the hell did happen? Damn, what did I miss? White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower in our own house. What in damnation are they doing? They just showed up here, started banging their shields. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland meet me in the courtyard. of dead men if I have my way. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword, all of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, eh? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you, but the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Get your men out of my sight. This is absurd. That sounds like the old Roderick. Beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. 
What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? Your men aren't fucking guests. We'll get what I give them and be thankful for it. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're here to keep watch on your soldiers. That's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening, Roderick. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick, you can't let them do this. I'm glad you see the order of things. It's a long fight. Come on. Griff Whitehill. That's not. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you couldn't really stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, that's clearly what he wants. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake then? by smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. Nolan Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, you can face the White Hills head on. Yeah, you're not and what of Griff and his men? This on your own. But we can only take this occupation for so long. We must act. And Ryan needs us. He's alone. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Option. Then it's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men the to hold our own hope. I said this is the best option, and instead it went ahead and decided that that meant 
an option that was there that I didn't choose. Oh, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Unfortunately, Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenmores. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't oh, imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come. But it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. <clears throat> well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord? Yep. Won't raise any eyebrows at all. My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter. The very same. After the hells that came from her and Nasha. Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. But why would she want to meet? Is it still about Asher? I couldn't say. That was a long time ago. And even if she still has feelings, it can't be just about that. It's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it, and I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point, when the time comes. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the Crown Lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Well, I was Very soon to tell you you'll before. be free, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Mira? I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but Lady Marjorie needs me. Very well. Just know that matter we discussed? <clears throat> A royal decree sits on my desk now, and I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. I thought you would want to know. Good news on a day that is already blessed. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, one okay. more thing. The most valuable favor is a favor unspent. Perhaps I'll call on you for a dance at the wedding feast. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Lady Marjorie, welcome to the family. For better or worse. Lord Tyrion. You said you'd done nothing wrong. But now Tyrion Lannister, the master of coin, comes looking for you. Obviously, this is not nothing. I didn't say I didn't What's talk What's this talk to him? of a royal decree? You know I didn't want you talking to him. Today of all days. I made a deal with him. For the crown to buy my family's ironwood. Think of how this will look. House Forrester already has so few friends at court. And when this decree becomes public, you may find you have even fewer. You disappoint me, Mira. We'll talk about this after the wedding. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... Come with me, Sarah. Tied to the wicker post.
Garrett. Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? There's news that House Forrester is in trouble. I'm sorry to hear it, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially yeah. now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it, and you were in trouble north of the wall, any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Well, I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies oh, beside no. you. Errolt Holt of White Harbor, Corliss Wells from Stony Sept, and finally we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. Check House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing this any one for the Boltons. There'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Garrett. We'll be practice swords to Garrett, start. what's the matter? You know him. Come on, get moving. Garrett, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the maester. Don't do something you'll regret. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I did with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? Welcome to the wall, brother. Looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do, because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you, but I suppose you have a right to know. It can't be that bad. I stayed with her when Tyrion tried to talk to me. I said everything right. I know this must be hard for you. It wasn't too long ago I was asking for your help with Marjorie. And what did you do? Now you know how it feels, being on the outside looking in. But I'm your friend, Mira. Always. If you want my help with Marjorie, just ask. Otherwise, Marjorie is <coughs> going to make you leave King's Landing. Hmm. You're pushing her to it, Mira. Sarah, I was wrong not to offer you my help. I can only ask you to be a better friend than I was to you. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. I'm not letting her send you home. Look, the pie! Oh no! They're already serving the pie. Oi! We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. You've made a mistake. <laughs> oh. Seven hells. <sighs> you there, girl. 
I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. Why would you want to help me? Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. I know he has a plan, which I assume was about undermining your own. Oh, I have no doubt that was part of it. Yet Tyrion Lannister is more clever by half. He only brought you into that throne room to turn us against each other, to get the cheapest ironwood from you. He played you. Played us all. Like little toys. Of course, I'm sure you already knew that, my lady. Why do you think I'm talking to you? I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. What you need more than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? And what exactly are the terms of this offer? What do you get out of it? A smart question. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds, but what if we were to work together? Control the price of ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it? Don't touch What happened? Joffrey's oh, no, no, no. dead! I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira? I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. It's locked. I'm not getting in this way. Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's something inside I need to get. 
If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do? <sighs> I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know, Mira. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly around here. If I fall, it's on your head. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I... I was just... I just needed to get away. After everything that's happened, it was terrible. I'm sure you did. I'm not going to ask you again. <laughs> Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! You, don't move. Tom, it's me, hurry! I hope you don't think that was easy. I nearly broke my neck for you. Some tiles on the roof came loose. Almost lost my footing. Thank you, Tom. I could never have done this without you. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. He said that it would be on his desk. It's the bill for the wedding. This is more money than I could spend in a lifetime. Oh, nothing. Just a letter from Tywin Lannister. Oh, oh, another bloody letter! Tyrion's strongbox! Oh, it must be in here. Mira, I think the Lannister Guard is back. It's the other one. Damn it. Hide. I'll find a way to distract them. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lockboxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. I lit a tapestry on fire, down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? Oh, I think... I think it has to be in here. Oh, it has to be. No, 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 no. Just hurry! Oh! Come on! <gasps> it worked! Is this? Oh! Thank the gods! Oh, I found it! Finally! Let's go! <coughs> if I catch the bastard who... I'll wring their bloody neck! We're not far now. Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? 
our ironwood trees. It's the White Hills. You see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. And they reduced it to nothing. Before this is done, we'll make them pay. Every last one of them. Aye. The White Hills need to answer for this. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. If she go around her father to help us, she must have some purpose. I'll hear what she has to say, but I won't forget who she is. Good. You see what her family's done here? Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children, but this could be a trap. Doesn't hurt to be careful. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing conspicuous about just walking around with a knife in your hand. Well, I remember hiding down there, playing monsters and maidens with little Naaman and, and uh, Megan. Hmm, <laughs> I can still smell the sawdust. <laughs> Hear the whining of the grindstone. Such a part of my early years. So long ago. I see you haven't lost your warrior's ways. That's good. I wouldn't want to deal with someone careless. Hello, Gwyn. It's... It's been so long since we've met, Roderick. It has. It was before your father found out about you and Asher. Before he stormed Ironrath. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? And he won't stop. He means to do that to every inch of your land. Soon, there will be nothing left to save. I hope you come with help, Gwyn. And I hope you'll listen to me. I come as a friend. <sighs> Wait, I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Unfortunately, it's the way it has to be. Well, I came. So let us get to the business that brings us here. Yes, we should get on with it. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. How do you know about my brother? That's... part of why I'm here. But I need to know you've come for the same reasons I have. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want too? I need to hear you say it, Roderick. Will you work with me? Yes. Peace means my family will be safe. Of course that's what I want. The years have blessed you with wisdom, Roderick. And it is good you have it. Because peace is the only hope your family has. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless... 
You let Griff feel like he's in control. Just like you kissed my father's ring. You must show the same respect to Griff. You don't know Griff like I do. The dogs still whimper when he walks past the kennels. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hills. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Kill me? On my own land? Do you really think this is even your land anymore? No, wretch. Just listen. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. He is ready to show you otherwise. What the hell is your father planning? I swear I don't know, but whatever it is, he knows all your weaknesses, all your plans. What? How? She's telling him. Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. My father boasts of it, and I've heard some of the reports. You must tell me. Who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to rescue Ryan. Even if it means abandoning your home to Griff. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families, it's the only way. You have my word, Gwyn. I'll do my part. Thank you. My lord! Those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. The Lord? Come along, Duncan. Alright guys, I think I am going to go ahead and call it here. We got through, uh, let me see here, pull up the trophies. Four chapters of episode three tonight, not bad. Didn't even die once. Yet, I'll probably set myself up for a million different ways to lose later on. Uh, but, uh, see you on the later on. We are gonna push this guy to platinum. <laughs>